One, one thing that I've uh, done, uh, I have challenged our two instructors here to try and describe the course that we are working on here, the human microbiome, by using foods, okay? To describe the course by using foods. Now, this is a bit of a fun challenge that we do in All You Can Learn. Uh, now, Luca, you uh, proposed the food yogurt to describe the course. Now, can you tell us why you chose yogurt? So, uh, first of all, I chose yogurt because uh, it is a fermented food. So this is really, you know, into my DNA, because as I said before, I'm a food microbiologist and uh, uh, I'm really, uh, let's say, a fan of the activities that microorganisms are expressing in the transformation of food. The other reason why I chose yogurt is because yogurt is one of the um, most popular and ancient foods that are part of our life. So somehow they are accompanying us throughout, their li throughout our life. And since microbiome is something that um, immediately after our birth is accompanying us until, you know, the end of our days, I think that yogurt is quite a nice example on how, let's say, the course is constructed. And let me say another thing. You mentioned, Jean-Paul, that the first evidences, let's say, of the study of microorganisms were in the 1600s. A little bit later, in the 1800s, you have the first evidences of link between consuming specific dairy products, specifically the yogurt from Bulgaria, with the longevity of people that were actually consuming that yogurt. And this is because the yogurt contained microorganisms that could interact with our body and allow us to become healthier. Okay, thank you. Um, Marta, you put forward <laughs> the pizza margarita. So yeah, pizza in what margarita. Way, pizza margarita <laughs> course. Well, this, this was a tribute to, to, to Luca. And <laughs> thank you. I have seen that, <laughs> have seen that there, there is many Italians also following the course, so I don't want to create a, a, a national problem. But if I'm right, pizza margarita is composed by three ingredients, right? It's mozzarella, basil, and tomato, right? And this is true, mm -hmm. right? And to me, yes, this is like is. the perfect, perfect match. You, you don't miss anything. It's my favorite pizza. And, and our course is, is composed by three weeks. And we create this course also complementing our knowledge. And I think it, it was like a, a, a nice example of how this course. It's, uh, it's effectively yeah. what you're saying, it's beauty and simplicity because the pizza margarita yeah. with just those three ingredients just uh, just tops it. Okay. It's our first, um, our first experience like that. Um, Luca, the other one that you picked was table olives. So can you tell us yeah. why table olives? <laughs> sure. Sure, and and, and and let me say let me say first that I'm very impressed with the with the pick of Marta on the pizza margarita. I would never I would go for pizza margarita and you know the actually the explanation that she has gave to us is is, is very is very right. I mean so again uh, congratulations Marta for the idea. Um, <laughs> table olives, why why table olives? Again, um, it gets back again to the story of being fermented. So I believe that, again, they are a very nice representation or, or let's say they can be a very nice representative food to promote the, the, the course. The other reason why I picked up fermented olives is because you know the importance of the ecological transition and the, the transition in the diets that we are all um, somehow subjected to in a sense that uh, you know all the problems that our planet is facing you know that somehow we need to um, go from animal-based products to plant-based products so again the fermented olives to me uh, could be like a very nice 
let's say, example on how by consuming more plant-based fermented foods, we can improve our microbiome and as a consequence, we can also have impacts on our human health. Okay, brilliant, thank you. And the second one for Marta was popcorn. Can you tell us why it popcorn? Too, it was, it's a bit abstract. Uh, it's just what I would like to get with the course is like that it, it like spark the the interest of the learners to take care of the gut microbiota. I want them to go to the market or to the supermarket after doing the course and say, I'm not going to eat that because it's so good for my gut microbiota. You know, I want them to 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 learn how to take care of this community that lives in our gut and it's so so important for for our well being. Like because of that, I chose of course, just because of the explosion 